slides presentation on ancient Egypt. And if you've watched any of the previous videos, we've taken what was a basic black and white slide and we've changed the fonts. We have changed the color palette to match this title image here. Um, and we have added custom images. The next thing we're going to do is adjust the transitions from one slide to the next. So you do that. And when you're on your main slide, at the top here, it has a transition. For our title slides, what we're going to start with when you first turn on the presentation, so what's going to be on the screen. So we're going to leave this one alone and not put anything there. But for our second slide, we want to set this one to fade. It'll fade basically from the first one to black and then into this one. So we're going to go over here where it says none. And we're going to choose fade. And then we generally like to set these at about 0.7 seconds. So we'll move the slider over until it gets there. And then to, a little shortcut we're going to use, we're going to click apply to all slides because that will automatically make that transition the transition, but more importantly, it will set all of them to a 0.7 second transition. We're going to go back to our first one because we don't need a transition here. We're going to set that back to none and take that away. But now we're going to go to our third slide and this one, we want it to be a fade. We want it to be 0.7 seconds, nothing we have to do there. But where we want to show a timeline across the screen as we're presenting. So instead of fading for this fourth and fifth slide, we're going to change from fade to slide from right. And that will slide the image from right to left. Do that as, again over here. But then for slide six, because we're going to be going uh, to this scene with the image, we're going to put dissolve just to give it a little bit different transition, really similar to fade but it'll cross dissolve. It'll show that one in. And we'll use that same transition when we move from Nile River to the Giza Pyramids. And so we'll use dissolve there. And then for our last one, because we're bringing up the conclusion, we'll use that fade feature that we already have. And so now we bring up our slides. You, by the way, can preview this by clicking play down here and it will show you what that looks like. It's a little jerky sometimes and kind of hard to tell. Uh, basically what I like to do is go up and click slideshow where I actually can see it. And then I can see how that fade works. It works again. Now slide from right shows our timeline. The dissolve brings in the now river slide and then the dissolve also brings in our pyramids and that fade brings us to our last slide. And so that is how you add custom transitions to your slides in a Google slides presentation.